They're called the Fighting Dissectors, and not just because they were both veterans of World War II. Marion and Milton Dissecker came home from the war and used their fighting spirit to help support themselves. They were electricians, they were carpenters, they were welders, they were plumbers, they were coal miners. I mean, it goes on and on and on. They became known for mining coal and fighting anyone in authority. They bought and used obsolete equipment from bigger coal companies, modified it to their needs, and supplied coal to local schools, government, and other small operations. But they distrusted almost everyone. When Ohio started regulating coal mining, the brothers resisted government inspections. They even locked a government car behind a gate, and they wouldn't free it until the next day. But they had a soft spot. They gave freely to neighbors and Boy Scouts who camped nearby. This area was a real moonscape. Uh, when I was a kid and camped here in the 1970s, uh, you, you could walk up and view this property, although you stayed off of it because it was considered very dangerous, and it, and it was. Following the brothers' deaths, the family put the property up for auction in 2009, and the nearby scout camp obtained much of the land. But what was left behind was simply a mess. Multiple dangerous problems were left on site, including a high wall, two portals, coal tipple and support structures, and a large pile of steeply sloped coal refuse. The high wall ran 1,700 feet long, standing about 70 feet tall. The piles were big and steep and unstable. The two underground portals were left wide open. And then there was the garbage, 25 tons of discarded tires and 500 tons of residential garbage, and streams filled with acid mine drainage. The stream that came out of this area ran orange. For many, many years it ran orange. One of the biggest obstacles to fixing the area was moving all the equipment. In recognition of the Dissecker's history, most of the gear went to an historic mine preservation site. The Scout Foundation contacted Ohio's AML program for help, and AML funds were used to remove the waste, close the portals, fix the high walls, and address the AMD. Today, the Dissecker site serves as both a Boy Scout encampment and an educational site, a pristine example of reclamation and restoration, and the winner of the 2019 National Award for Abandoned Mineland Reclamation.